Welcome to Modern Plastics TV, the first and largest online TV for the plastics and polymer industry, voice of global plastics industry since 2013. Jinu Joseph, global editor of Modern Plastic Global Network and Modern Plastics TV. Here with me, Mr. Yakov. Thank you for joining us here in K2025. And uh, here we are going to talk about packaging, closure, PET and much more SACME is doing. Tell us about, you know, the history of SACME. Where did you start and where are you now? It's a long gap and it's grown so big. Yeah. So let our viewers understand that. Okay, thank you. And thanks for hosting me and uh, providing me this interview. My name is Jacopo Bianconcini. I worked for SACME since uh, 25 years uh, in the, before in the ceramics uh, and now in the last 15 years uh, in the rigid packaging technology division. So SACME is, a uh, well, we are 104 years old. So we are in the market since 1919. Huh? It's a long story. It started with uh, mechanics, you know, seven mechanics. Uh, we, we had in Imola a big ceramic uh, company. And after the world, uh, the world war, there was a the reconstruction of, uh, of the ceramics, of the presses, the kilns. Uh, so we start to have knowledge on that. And then we started to have knowledge also on crown caps. So we started with crown caps uh, for the food industry, which uh, was quite uh, uh, developed uh, in, this, uh, in this area. Then uh, we had an innovation on crown caps uh, for making the liner. We applied the liner on plastic caps. Uh, we started to, to have an innovation thinking on the compression molding instead of injection molding for the uh, plastic beverage caps. Uh, this was back in 1995, more or less. And then from that moment, uh, talking about uh, um, closures uh, for beverage, uh, HDP and polypropylene, first uh, uh, two pieces closure, now one piece closures. Uh, nowadays, uh, we have uh, roughly 55% of uh, the world market of caps. I mean, 55% of the beverage caps made worldwide are made with the, our technology by our partners. Other than beverage industry, you have you you have several industry connected in the, under the SACME group. What are the industries you serve, and what are the product range? So in uh, yes, we have a few business unit. Uh, the, let's say the three main ones uh, are uh, ceramics, uh, special materials I call them, and uh, uh, packaging, rigid packaging technologies. So ceramic, we provide complete plant for uh, tiles, uh, sanitary wear. The special pressing uh, is, a, is a brand new business, booming uh, and uh, in a pressing uh, uh, metal powder and also uh, pressing a lot of other different products, including uh, the, the battery sector. Uh, the packaging, uh, uh, rigid packaging technology, which is the division where I'm working since the last uh, 12 years, uh, as a product range in just packaging, multi-material, so it's not only plastic, it's plastic, it's metal, and uh, as you can see back here, we are also investigating and providing knowledge and technology for like cellulose fiber on, or other type of materials. Uh, in the plastic, we are mainly on a beverage, so we are, as I said before, a world leader in providing technology uh, machines and uh, know-how for uh, plastic beverage caps, uh, but also we play an important key role for our clients, uh, supplying also the technology for uh, PET preforms. So they always go together <laughs> mostly. And uh, also in metal, we are basically the, the biggest and the only probably player in technology for crown caps uh, and also in metal uh, in metal cap, uh, ROPP, screw cap, uh, tall caps uh, in uh, aluminum, for instance, for uh, alcoholics drinks uh, or for uh, premium water drinks, for uh, um, glass uh, bottles. So, Jakub, nice to hear that there are so many new developments that you have in different industry. Could you please tell us about, you know, what are you displaying and what are the latest innovation you are doing here? Yes, here in K, we are uh, in uh, two main, uh, um, well, same sector, but two main uh, uh, topic and uh, parts in the value chain. Uh, our traditional is a technology, so compression molding technology for HDP beverage cap. What we present here is uh, the, 
more productive uh, uh, machine we have uh, designed uh, and placed in the market so far is a 64 cavity, 1.35 second cycle time on a, a beverage cap and uh, with an output of 2,850 caps per minute. On uh, um, Going upstream in the value chain, we present here a new business model, a new project, which is a recycled material, a recycled HDPE compression molding grade to be used by our partners in the production of caps directly into the compression machines. And we will be the one providing uh, re uh, mechanical recycling uh, uh, HDPE from PCR, so post-consumer uh, recycle. So why we don't see by real? Huh? Yeah, we can go. So we go and see what are you doing here and the latest innovation here. Nice to see. So and it is yes. nice to know that you are also focusing on sustainability here. No, here. So sustainability is playing uh, a key role uh, in the uh, strategy of our uh, customers. Uh -huh. And uh, most important here in Europe, we will have a regulation, mm -hmm. a single use plastic and packaging and packaging waste regulation, which will uh, uh, set the standards for the use and compliance for uh, uh, recycling material into the packaging, including the beverage. From 2030, also the cap uh, will be, um, by legislation, uh, will be necessary to have a content of recycled plastic. So we start, uh, as I see the pro, I will show you the process now. So we start uh, from uh, an input material uh, uh, coming from uh, PET recyclers. So PET recyclers will divide the PET by uh, HDP, so by the material of the cap. The, um, use of tethered caps, you know, with the single-use plastic regulation, which means the cap to stay attached to the bottle helps a lot in increasing the quantity of uh, HDP, so the caps uh, compared to the uh, attached to the PT bottles. Then we divide uh, by material, we divide the flakes uh, by color, families, so the white, the red and the green. Then we decontaminate uh, and making uh, decontaminated granules uh, from the same uh, uh, color flakes. Uh, such granules will be used in the production of uh, beverage caps. So it's quite uh, tricky to have uh, uh, PCR, uh, mechanical recycled materials, able to comply both uh, with the food grade uh, uh, regulation by uh, in Europe EFSA. This is a food grade cap? This is a cap made with 30% uh, of recycled material, recycled. food grade uh, to be used uh, in a uh, uh, beverage, beverage product. So we, we as a service, uh, our technological lab uh, provide uh, the receipt uh, for the machine uh, with the use of that granules uh, to have a cap performing both uh, in uh, the food grade uh, and also on the um, compliance, technological compliance by the brand owners, especially in terms of stress cracking and opening uh, torque. Okay. And uh, we are in the position now to have this uh, material mixed with the virgin direct in the machine and to be able to adjust the receipt in real time. We can go to see that. So as I said before, this is an example of a tethered cap, yeah. which is uh, by rule uh, uh, adopted in Europe since uh, this year, 2025. Mm -hmm. So this uh, is a special uh, type of design, uh, which yeah. is a uh, patent by us. This uh, solution helps to have an input stream of HDP higher. Yeah. So the granules you see is uh, in this tank uh, right. that together with the Virgin right. One, is mixed directly in the machine. You see here is the recycled material, 30%. Here is the virgin material. This is the master batch for the color. So with a specific receipt to compliance with the protocol of the brand owners, the lab provides to the client, you mix the material directly in the machine. 
then it is uh, extruded here yeah. already with a melt of 30 percent of uh, recycled and 70 percent virgin then is placed uh, into the mold uh, right. 1.35 cycle time 1.35 is the cycle time quickest in the industry okay. and then you have the in one uh, rotary cycle which compress and cool down the cap uh, you have the exit uh, just in one row wow. and then you have the vision system checking uh, each cap uh, you can see from there that each cap is measured in real time in terms of dimension and contaminants of color okay. and if it is not matching the properties we set in the system yeah, yeah. is taken out from here and here you have a cap which is already not yet uh, cutted and not right. yet folded so is missing uh, the the part for uh, slitting and folding but uh, is already water cap uh, food grade with a 30% recycled material made in the machine at 2850 this is uh, the complete version of the cap uh, after the process of folding right. and uh, uh, cutting so the band is made by uh, cutting so it's easy as it is a second part of the process to change the slitting configuration right. according to the type of cap without entering into the mold wow. Wonderful to understand this. Sacme is displaying high speed machine here with 30% recycled and 70% virgin material. And it is wonderful to see the way it is changing and looking into the sustainability. You would like to know more about, uh, you know, how do you see the packaging industry's growth and change happened in the last years? And uh, how do you see the Indian market as specifically? Well, the, the packaging uh, is, uh, is growing steadily at a high rate. So we, we do not see any slowdown in the packaging market. I'm thinking globally. Well, in Europe is a slowdown, but globally not. For two main reasons. Population is increasing and uh, the quality of life of the population so the usage of packaging product is always increasing so to give you an example in italy well in europe we have of sad we use about 200 of this every year per person so each of us opens 200 bottles per year they say in india i think the number is about 30 so it's much less so you are growing as a population and you are growing in consumption. So back to your question, how do you see the Indian market is booming? Yeah. And we think that uh, in a uh, few years, uh, one third of our production of machines will go to India, hopefully. India is a booming market for the packaging, for the rigid packaging and the capping industry. You want to know more about SACME, visit their website. Do not forget to visit the booth in hall number 13, A63. We wish you all the best in the coming days and a wonderful time at K2025. Thank you so much. Thank you.